So hello everybody, welcome back. I'm going to call this video uh, Run the Numbers on Water. And then, you know, maybe you can figure this one out by yourself. Of course, this is average. And um, I hope this information is helpful somehow. And anyway, grab your coffee and notebook and I hope you find this info helpful. And if you wanted to share a coffee with me, you can do that in the link down below. Thank you very much. And if you wanted to help me out, you can also send an Amazon gift card. Um, thank you very much. The email is down below. So anyway, let's say that you have 300 gallons and you have three people. And um, that's going to last you about three days. And then you're like, what? No, I mean, most people you know, are considering that they will have one gallon per day per person because that is what is, you know, um, estimated and stuff like that. And no, that's not actual truth. So here I go to explain to you a little bit of the things that you might want to consider. So, number one, let's say that you need to use a toilet and you need to flush the toilet. I have shown you how to do that in the other videos. You need to, you know, put it into the water tank for the thing, which is why the toilet is called WC, because it's water closet, as in, you know, the water tank thing. And anyway, so let's say that you need two gallons, and then you are going to have three people, and then you're going to do these, you know, once a day. So that is eight gallons. Of course, this is not truth because you are not using the toilet once per person. Uh, you are probably using it more. If you are a woman, you know what I mean. And if you are a guy, you also probably know what I mean. I mean, normal, normally you will need to, um, you know, go to the toilet twice a day. And that is, you know, double this one. But let's say that is eight gallons and then two more for cleaning. So, you know, roughly, that's roughly eight gallons, but it's not going to be eight gallons. It, depending upon, you know, how many toilets you have and all of that, that number can be triple. So let's say that it's not triple, but let's say that, you know, it's, it's a little bit more like two and a half, so 20 gallons. But let's assume that it's eight, because for whatever reason, you know, you can go outside, whatever. Anyway. So then you have to do the dishes. If you have to do the dishes, you have to do the dishes and let's say that you're spending three gallons and then you are doing the dishes three times in a day. So that is nine gallons. And then you're spending five gallons for cleaning, um, you know, everywhere, cleaning a little bit the kitchen and rinsing everything and whatever. Then you're doing laundry. Of course, laundry you're not going to do every day, but let's assume that you're going to use 25 gallons um, and you're going to do this twice a week. So let's say that today is laundry day. So today you're spending 25 gallons doing laundry, which is not going to be 25 gallons. I'm telling you, it's going to be more depending upon what you are doing and depending upon whether you're not, whether or not you're using a laundry machine or you're doing this by hand or, um, you know, if you have the, the other, the, the other instruments that people will, will uh, develop to in order for them to be able to do the laundry. So anyway, 25 gallons. So let's also say that, you know, you need bathing and shower. So let's say that roughly you're going to spend 10 gallons, which is roughly about two buckets. Um, if you are an expert in showering in, with the buckets, you might need one. But if you are not an expert, you're probably going to spend two, two and a half buckets in the first days. So you have three people, each one is, is, you know, taking one daily, that is 30 gallons right there that you're going to, you know, use. use. And then let's say that you don't use the entire for um, just uh, bathing, but you're also using it for cleaning the shower after yourself. Because, you know, it's important that you keep everything clean. So whatever water you're using, you need to reuse in the same place. And then you, you will be creative. You will understand what I mean. So let's say that you also need to wash your face, your teeth, and others, you know, in a daily basis. So 
Um, let's say that you use half a gallon for each person, that's 1.5 gallons daily. And then you need to use uh, water for cooking, as in put it in the coffee, the rice, the pasta, the sauces that you're doing, whatever that you're doing, you know. So that's roughly, roughly five gallons um, for three meals, that's roughly 15 gallons. Now, you are also going to, to be doing gardening, pets, uh, cleaning, and other stuff related to water. So let's say that the average for that is about 20 gallons. So right there, if you do the math, right there, that's roughly 120 gallons of water per day. Roughly. And that does not include emergencies, fires, you helping your neighbors, you having leaks in, in, the, in, the, water, in the water transportation, meaning let's say that you know, you're know you moving one bucket to the other place and then accidentally you drop it. So you will have to re, you know, uh, recount that bucket and that bucket will probably carry two gallons. So you just lost two, two gallons of water because you accidentally dropped it. Or you accidentally dropped it and then the, the thing, because it is plastic, it breaks. And then now you need to find a new container. And you also will find you will need more water and stuff like that. So all of that thing, let's say that roughly is now 150 gallons. Due to the fact that, you know, you're not an expert. So if you might be, you know, into a expert consideration, whatever, you might spend about roughly 100 and that one. So anyway, I hope this information is helpful and... Again, you know, the best way to find out if uh, what I'm saying is truth or not is you doing a drill. I want, you know, you can try, you know, washing your face without uh, running water. You can try bathing with buckets. You can try doing the gardening without the hose. You can try, you know, um, dealing with uh, containers that may leak and do the dishes without running water. And then you will understand that these numbers are probably less than what would you what you are actually going to use because you probably not don't have the same experience as me. That's why when I tell you that I'm in bucket duty, you can imagine what it's like to handle 120 gallons of, of water by yourself, moving it all over the place, and especially if you have to walk two floors and stuff like that, like I do. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope these numbers are wrong, but if you happen to do a drill, you might share your results and then compare them to my numbers. And then, you know, maybe you can get a better average. So thank you.